Welcome to today's session on Inawera Easy Workflow. I've just received an email in my inbox letting me know that I've been assigned a workflow item. So now that my Excel is opened up, I'm going to click on the Process Runner Excel Add-in tab. And here I'm going to click on this Inbox button. And this shows me the work item that has been assigned to me. So I'm just going to double click on here. And here on this side pane, this shows me the status of the workflow. It shows me that I've been assigned step six. I'm responsible to enter the forecast data. The workflow is 56% completed and it's progressing pretty quickly here as we've only used up 7% of the estimated time it would take to complete the workflow. Now, if I click here on this workflow status, this gives me a full picture of the workflow. It shows me that at stage one, the user Jeremy Buckmeyer was responsible for entering the basic data and the status has been approved. The next was to enter purchasing data and this was done by the group purchasing. Then storage data was done by the other group. Accounting data was done by the finance group. Then the cost center data was assigned to Jay Johnson and the forecast data has been assigned to the manager group, which I'm a part of. And then the rest of this workflow, warehouse management data will need to be entered by the administrator. Validating the data will be done by Jeremy Buckmeyer. And then finally, test user will create the material in SAP. Now these little folders that you're seeing with the red arrow, this indicates that the person is out of office. And so for the purpose of the demo, I've basically assigned these users to be out of office so that I'll receive their workflow items and then it won't be necessary for me to jump back and forth between a bunch of different screens here. We can see the workflow progress from this pop-up screen as well here in the time progression. Also with this current step number six, it's showing what Excel action is allowed and what SAP action is allowed. And then if I just hover over these other steps down here, this will show me what Excel action is allowed at this step and what SAP action is allowed as well. So there you can see that this is going to change based on the step of the workflow. I'm gonna go ahead now and close this. And so my responsibility is to enter this forecast data. And I'll just point out something here. Because Inaware Easy Workflow works through a server-based Excel setup, this Excel spreadsheet is residing on a server. So each person in the workflow knows that they have the latest, most up-to-date, correct version of the Excel spreadsheet. So we don't have to worry about this Excel file being passed around from user to user and not be sure who has the latest and correct edition of the Excel spreadsheet or workbook. I also will point out here, this particular section of the Excel spreadsheet, I'm not responsible for. So if I try to enter data in here, you'll notice that it's locked. This portion I am responsible for, so I can put data in here. And then if I scroll over to these other columns, this portion is locked as well. So I'm only responsible for this forecast data and I'm not able to enter data in the section that belongs to another person on the workflow process. So I'm just gonna go to the sample data here Now that I've copied and pasted this in, I'm just going to click on approve work item. Here I can put a little note, whatever I think is appropriate. And then I can stamp it with my username and date and time. And this lets me know where it's going to for the next stage. So I'm just going to click on approve here. Now we're going to advance to the next stage. And so here I have a little pop-up. So this pop-up is called the Inaware Assistant. And whoever is the next person who has been assigned a workflow process, they're going to receive this pop-up if you choose to activate the Inaware Assistant, or they can also be notified by email as well. So you can be notified by both or one or the other. So I'm just going to click here. This is going to take me right into that Excel spreadsheet template again. And so now I know I'm at step seven, responsible for entering the warehouse management data. Again, now this portion of the Excel spreadsheet is locked and this portion is not. So I'll go back to the sample data. 
now that I've entered in the necessary data, I'm just going to approve this work item, put my stamp here, and we'll now move on to the next stage. And now I'm in the validate data stage, the second to last stage of the workflow progress. If I double click here, I can just verify again all of the steps that have been done, see who's worked on this before me. So this option is available to everyone in the workflow to click on that work status, it gives them a nice overall picture of what's gone on in the workflow. So I'm going to close this out here. Now I'm going to go to this Process Runner Excel add-in tab at the top here. You notice I have this Create Material Master MM01. This is a transaction automation script that is embedded in the Excel template. And so I have the ability to test the data against SAP without committing the data. And so because I am in a validate data stage process, I've been given the right to test the data against SAP, but not to actually commit it to SAP. And so we're just going to take a quick look, a quick run through of the data here and just make sure that, that there isn't any errors in the data. And so this shows that I can actually choose the rows that I want to test the data on. I just tested row three. So now I'm going to go ahead and test all of the rows. So just to make you aware of that, you can test as few or as many rows of the data as you would like with the start and end row option here. So this shows me that all of my documents do not have any errors. And so I'm just going to approve this work item here, put my stamp on it, and now we'll move to the last stage of the workflow. And now in this last stage, I'm responsible for creating the material in SAP. So if I go to the Process Runner tab here, there you can see again that script. And this time I actually have the Run option as well as the Test option if I needed to test it again. So I'm going to go ahead now and run this, commit the data to SAP. We'll get this material created. I'm going to log into one SAP system from my SAP landscape. You'll notice I could have chosen any of those SAP systems. So as long as I had the authorization rights, just put in my username and password, selecting the system that I want to upload the data to. And so once this finishes out here, we'll see the SAP messaging written to the Excel spreadsheet. So there's my amount of calls, my SAP time, my Excel time. And if I scroll over here, there we've got the uh, SAP messaging showing these materials have been created. So let's just take a look at this first material here and verify that it was successfully created in SAP. So I'm going to put in MM03. Here I have my material number. Go to this basic data view here. And we'll go to the environment, display changes. And there you can see the time I was I just created this material in SAP. And so now that I know I've successfully created these materials, I can click on this approve work item, put my stamp on it, and close this out. And so now that this workflow is finished, if I go into my inbox now, we should see no items assigned to me. So there I no longer have any work items assigned to me. If I go to my workflow history here and then just find the particular workflow that this template falls under. So now I'm going to right click and go to this work item history and just take a specific look at this particular workflow. So this shows me who worked on each of these operations. Again, they had been assigned. Basically, I'm the display name there because I received the out-of-office assignments. 
Now, if I double click here, this is going to allow me to see the Excel spreadsheet at each stage in the workflow process. So here I am at the storage stage. So I, I, I can see the data that was entered at each stage. Now let's take a look at this uh, enter warehouse management data stage. So again, I'm gonna right click here to get up the work item history. And now we'll go to this warehouse management data stage and I'll double click. And there we can see the Excel spreadsheet at the warehouse management stage where everything had been filled in. So you have a nice audit trail on that Excel spreadsheet. You're able to see at each stage what was done, what data was entered on the Excel spreadsheet. So that's the option. You can select that to save the Excel spreadsheet at each stage in the workflow, or you can choose not to do that. But I like to do it, have a nice audit trail on all of the data that was entered in on that Excel spreadsheet. Well, thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more, visit us at inawera.com. And also contact us if you'd like to set up a demo where we can tailor the presentation to the needs of your organization.